channel and to another thoughts on Thursday. Today um, is one of those pre-recorded videos that I was telling you guys about. It's actually like way pre-recorded but um, I just wanted to get this out of the way and so today I am going to be talking about the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Vapor setting spray. It has it in another language. I'm trying to get a really good idea of if drugstore is better than, you know, your prestige. And just let you guys know, um, I did a tutorial on this look a couple months ago. <laughs> Like I said, this is very pre-recorded, um, so I will link it down below in case you were wondering about any of this makeup, and I will check in with you guys in a little bit. Okay guys, so what I'm going to do is um, see how the Wet n Wild setting spray compares to the Urban Decay one. So I'm going to do half of my face with one and half with the other, which I know sounds really crazy, but I'm going to use my palette to um, separate it and just see if there is a huge difference. So on the right we're going to do Urban Decay and then on the left we'll do the Wet n Wild. I can tell you right now that the Wet n Wild one has more of an alcohol spray and the actual spray bottle kind of squirted out too much at once if that makes sense like in a direct area and it's taking a little bit longer to set than the Urban Decay okay so I just set it is um, it's 11 o'clock in the morning so I'm gonna update you guys throughout the video or uh, throughout the day in this video obviously and let you know if like one breaks down more than the other and what have you so I'll see you soon. Okay guys, so it is 9.05 and I'm doing a check-in. <laughs> I can't tell if it's the foundation or what, but my nose is completely gone as far as foundation. Um, all of my cheeks are gone. There's more so on this side than this side, um, which <clears throat> we did the Urban Decay All Nighter setting spray with. Um, I'm going to zoom you guys in, prepare for the scare. So as you can see, it's like completely gone all right here. Like the only thing that's left as far as makeup is my under eyes, which, you know, I baked with and you can still kind of see down here. Um, I have some breakouts right now. Uh, I'm getting like real personal with you guys, <laughs> but as you can see, my nose is completely gone. Um, but like I said, you can still see quite a bit of the uh, baking on this side and it's pretty much gone on this side so so as far as the setting spray goes with this foundation the Urban Decay All Nighter did win um, so what I'm gonna do is show you guys maybe in another day uh, using the Wet n Wild setting spray the photo focus on my whole entire face so that will be coming up next as far as the standoff the Urban Decay did win again the Urban Decay is $30 and the Wet n Wild was I believe four or five dollars so let's move on into the next day Okay guys, so we are doing day two of trying out this setting spray. So I just finished my makeup and today instead of the half and half face, we are going to do the whole entire face and see how it does. I, I did use a different foundation, seeing if that maybe will make a difference. So I'm going to go ahead and sit. So it is 12.45 in the afternoon and I will do a check-in. Um, I do have some other videos to do today so I may do how I did it last time and just show you the end of the day. It didn't do quite well yesterday um, with just half of the face. but So it could have been my foundation so that's why today we are testing a new theory. I did a completely different primer. I did a completely different um, foundation and so hopefully we'll get some different results so I will check in with you guys later so this setting spray I think actually does war more harm than good as you guys can see um, it is completely gone now 
I'm a person that suffers from, it's not even allergies, I don't even know what it is, but my nose constantly runs and so I do wipe it with like a Kleenex and everything. So I can understand like this area, like you can tell because I am still kind of sick and I have congestion and like my nose is running, like you can see how raw the skin is. But like all of this being gone doesn't even make sense and I just, I don't even get it. I really don't. And I don't know if you guys can see, like, on my forehead, it, like, <sighs> I don't know. It has to be the setting spray because I'm telling you guys, my makeup does not look like this on a normal basis. And yesterday and today, the fact that it's all gone right here and, like, the powder products are, like, bunching up to, like, some of my lines, like, not my, it's not even lines right here. I don't even know if you guys can see... Again, I am getting super personal with you guys, like, showing you the nastiness <laughs> when this is a beauty channel and typically, you know what I mean, like, you have, like, your perfect face, but I want to be completely 100% honest with you guys, even if that means showing you this nastiness of, I don't even know what to call it, it's nonsense, so this $4 spray is definitely not worth it, um, I my Urban Decay All Nighter so far is still my favorite setting spray. Um, I'm thinking about doing a hotter or a... So I hate to sign off with this half naked face, but it is 10 o'clock at night and I need to take my makeup off. So I did want to do another check-in. We did two different experiments with this spray to really put it to the test and unfortunately it failed miserably. At least that's my skin type. Like I say all the time on my channel that everything in life is an experience and everyone's going to have a different one. If you have similar skin to mine, which is combination, I do have some oil, I do have some dry, but it's not anything like super crazy, you know what I mean? Like I'm not super overly sensitive to some things um, and I don't have like issues with stuff like this, so... You know what I mean? Like, a lot of people have, like, the slipping and the sliding, but I prime, I set, you know what I mean, with powders, and this setting spray, unfortunately, just did not do any good. So, that is a thumbs down for this Thoughts on Thursday and the Wet n Wild Photo Focus setting spray, unfortunately. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you are new, hello and welcome to this beautiful half-naked face. My name is Brittany Coco and you are watching the Coco channel. Please subscribe if you're not already. It really would mean the world to me. If you guys have anything that you want a thought on Thursday, uh, like any products, just leave it down in the comments down below, and I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye!